you know who it is. It's your host, Mr. Will Day Fresh himself. So, you know how we do it. And before we get into it, make sure that you go down below, you hit like, you comment, you subscribe, and you hit that notification bell. I mean, you're already here. Why don't you just go ahead and get into it? And then go ahead and sub to your boy. So, you know how we do it. Let's get sarcastic. <laughs> All right, all right, welcome back. So let's get into a little bit something, a little bit of sarcastic, and let's drop some knowledge for those who are never uh, up to date on what's going on. So um, second chances. Everybody wants second chances in this world. I mean, everybody. I've asked for them. I know you have. But in light, sometimes the second chances we ask for is not always the second chances that we get. That we we are willing to work for because everybody wants a second chance because because we might have screwed up on something like we screwed up on the test maybe a drug test it may be a pregnancy test who knows it's some kind of test in this world that we are always looking to redo we always want to redo in this world hell even in life i know there's a lot of situations that i've been into and of course i know you can attest to that we will always want that second chance in life to redo we always want to go back and make up again hell there's some tests i remember back in high school i would love to redo and i would have been better off but you know my counselor she was a drunk so she really didn't care about us color folks like yeah she was a stout she drank every day every day but that was her choice and look where it's got her now her check second chances ended her up in rehab so shout out to you miss grant you drunk ass bitch so yes second chances um when it comes down to it we all want a nice little second chance in this world but sometimes second chances don't come in the form and way that we want it because if we all think about it the second chances that we get always comes around in a way to where we learn what we should have learned the first time around those second chances are never as deemable well, i won't say deemable are never as plentiful there you go they're never as plentiful as we want them because we can break up with that one girl or that one dude and we say oh we're going to do better but you know what sometimes those same uh same issues same problems will come around to where it really makes you think do you want this herpes or do you want that baby second chance right there so we're always being we're always being played on how we're going to do better how we're going to make better on the promises that we're making and how we're going to keep because we say we promise if you give me a second chance i'll do better i'll be better i'll say better i'll do whatever i possibly can to make up for what i did wrong do right on what they're going to do but then you got others who never really follow through they just say what they what they need to get what they want and then look what happens they're out like a light because they never follow through on what they're initially trying to get to what they're initially trying to make happen because when we do get those second chances those second chances do tend to bite us in the ass if we don't follow through on what we want it's almost like and we know how we see in the movies where a person will make a wish or they'll make a deal with the devil and say i'll give you this because i need this and when they do and when it's time to pay up they don't want to pay up. They don't want to do anything that they're supposed to to make do well to make good on their initial um, promise on their initial deal. I want to say yes. So second chances they do come around, but when they do come around, people don't do what they're supposed to to make it justifiable to their actions because we all know for every action. There's a reaction for every cause and there's an effect. And people don't te tend to take the cause and effect into that matter when they're asking for second chances. Second chances nowadays, everybody's getting them. 
and it almost seems like they're not as valuable as they used to be because people keep doing the same thing over over and over again yeah it's like getting that it's like going to that same restaurant And you know the service is going to be absolute shitty, but you still try because you always want to give a second chance or some type of chance to say, well, they they uh, they messed up last time, but I'm willing to give them another chance just to see if they can rectify the last time. But nope, nope. Sometimes we become so comfortable and so uh, accustomed to people's bullshit and to people's own actions that we are willing to just put aside the differences and the bullshit just to see that maybe there is some good. But we all know you can't always trust a person's word or even their actions. If they've disappointed you so many times, you just need to say, fuck it and keep it moving. Keep it moving like a Girl Scout. Because Girl Scouts, they come door to door and they get their that door slammed in their face. That mm, not interested. But then, you know what? They keep on trucking along. They keep getting that money. They keep prostituting themselves for just that box of cookies that they're going to sell for five dollars. And some of them are, frankly, very terrible and very very gross. Extremely gross. I don't know why they keep selling those damn cookies, but that's just me. But that's a second chance that, you know, sometimes I'm willing to do. I'm willing to bet. We all have, we all live in this world to where we're willing to give a person, a thing, company, whoever it might be, some type of chance just because we want to redo or rectify for what was justifiable to what happened to us before. But it never works out like that. It never does. So you have to ask yourself, the people, the things that you're invested into when they do you wrong in any type of way, are you willing to give them some type of chance, whether it be second, third, fourth, fifth, hell, even a million chances? We all exaggerate by saying we're, we give a person a million chances. But are you really willing? And I mean, absolutely really willing to give a person a second, second, third, fourth, fifth chance just to disappoint you all over again. Something to think about, isn't it? Yeah. Makes me think about maybe I should I should not be so forgiving. I should not be so caring about giving another person the chance. It really registers, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Well, uh, this is just how it is. So, I ask you this. Are you really willing to give someone a second chance for whatever? Sometimes you can, sometimes you don't want to, but it's something that you really need to think about, okay? So, thank you for listening and tuning in. Make sure that you like, comment, click that notification button so you can get all things sarcastic. So, once again, this is your host, Mr. Will Day Fresh of Sarcasm Orgasm, and I will talk to y'all all. all.